The Queen could face Christmas alone if further COVID restrictions are introduced in response to the Omicron variant. The monarch, 95, traditionally spends the festive period at her Sandringham estate where she is joined by other members of the royal family. However, this may not go ahead for the second year in a row if more coronavirus measures are brought in as Omicron cases increase. It is also the Queen's first Christmas without her beloved husband Prince Philip. Boris Johnson yesterday repeatedly declined to rule out further rules being ordered ahead of Christmas as the UK battles the Omicron strain. Speaking during a visit to a vaccination clinic near Paddington, West London, the Prime Minister said, Throughout the pandemic I've been at great pains to stress to the public that we have to watch where the pandemic is going and we take whatever steps are necessary to protect public health. We think the steps that we are taking, so Plan B, combined with a hugely ambitious acceleration of the booster campaign, bringing it forward by a month so we offer a booster to every adult by the end of the year, we think that's the right approach. In November, it was reported that the Queen was looking forward to hosting the royals at Sandringham for Christmas. It comes as concern for the monarch's health has been heightened after she spent a night in hospital in October. Her Majesty pulled out of a number of engagements after being ordered by doctors to rest. A source told The Mirror last month, the Queen has told everyone she is feeling far better of late and is very much looking forward to welcoming them for Christmas. Like many other families, this will be the first time Her Majesty can gather with her extended family after being kept apart for so long due to the coronavirus pandemic. The newspaper reported that the monarch was expected to travel to Sandringham on or around December 17. However, the emergence of the new Omicron variant has raised questions over whether Christmas will go ahead as normal this year. The royals traditionally join the Queen at her Norfolk estate. On Christmas Day, members of the royal family are out in force for a church service at St. Mary Magdalene. Huge crowds of well wishers gather to catch a glimpse of the royals attending church. However, last year coronavirus meant the royal family were unable to come together at Sandringham for the festive period. The Queen has spent much of the pandemic at Windsor Castle. It has been a difficult year for Her Majesty, who lost her husband of 73 years in April months before his 100th birthday.